The next product we're going to discuss is the SimScope Hybrid Simulator. The SimScope was designed for interactions with live patients. Um, standardized patient interactions and OSCEs is what they're referred to in uh, medical school and nursing school situations. Uh, these are very high stakes tests. Most of the time this is an exit exam type of material where students actually have to come in and do a live interview with a live patient. And then um, usually that patient is exhibiting some sort of scenario of sounds or even a broken leg where they, they don't necessarily have that condition. So what we've done here is created a stethoscope that allows a seamless interaction between the um, student and the patient to exhibit those normal or abnormal sounds as they would in a live patient interaction. Uh, the system is very easy packed, very easy to unpack. This is, this is it completely here. Uh, the full complete system comes with one stethoscope, 105 of the uh, patches, so seven packs of the 15 patches that you see without crisp. All the patches are labeled for the specific location in which they should be adhered. It also comes with a USB cable for connecting to the computer and the SimScope software. Many of the times institutions will purchase additional SimScope packages. That does not come with the software. The software is sold as a site license and additional scopes are sold at a reduced price. We have many institutions that are purchasing 5 to 10 um, and asking for quotes on up to 30 SimScopes. So um, we're seeing a very good reaction to the product and essentially we're finding that institutions want to fill all their clinical exam rooms with the stethoscope and that's why we're getting such high volumes of, uh, of uh, requests and of orders. So essentially what we're going to do next is show you how this works in a live patient interaction. So Chris, essentially, um, I can talk about the history. Really, a patient interview goes through three steps. There's the history, there's the interview, and then there's the examination itself. So I'll give you the brief history that I've already previewed. So Chris is a 55-year-old male, had um, been smoking for 30 years, and recently he's starting to feel the effects of, uh, of that, having some respiratory problems, and he's in today because of, of those issues. So now I'm going to enter the room and we'll do our interview. Uh, Mr. Hernandez, it's good to see you today. Uh, what brings you to the office? Well, my wife asked me to come on in. Uh, I'm having trouble breathing. I climb a flight of stairs and just it hits me. It's just not a good deal. So she's really concerned. Okay, well, that. let's just go ahead and listen to your vital signs and, and see how you're doing and, and see if we can't figure out what's going on with you. So the student needs to turn on the stethoscope, it'll say six system activation mode one. And now as I go over the locations, I'll hear heart, breath, and vowel sound seamlessly. All right, your, your heart sounds sound, sound normal. Let's listen to your lungs here. Can I get a deep breath in? Yeah, you're definitely having some obstruction in the lungs. Mr. Hernandez. Yep, your asthma is definitely acting up. We're going to need to get you on a regimen using that inhaler. Have you been using it? 